Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I've been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 265, number 9. Number 9. Take a look at it, see what it says. Okay, I want you to compare 4 plus 2 times root 2 versus 2 plus 4 times root 2. Well, let's see, how can I do it? Well, of course, there are two ways, obviously, always, as I, if you, if you watch my previous uh, work. Uh, one is uh, what I call the traditional way, the, the, the traditional way, the conventional way, the orthodox way, the geeky way, the nerdy way, the proper way, the academic way, the way your math teacher would expect you to solve it, which is through, through doing all the calculations. But if you did that, you'll be missing the bloody point. The point here is to compare the two things, not, not to compute them, which is why I write down the word computation and then cross it out. These questions are called quantitative comparison. So how do I compare them without actually having to compute things? Well, let's see. Let's see. Well, the very first thing I notice is that here I have 4 times root 2, which is same as 4 times root 2 is same as, I'm going to actually, instead of erasing it, I'm going to rewrite this. So what we have here is, two plus two root two plus two root two. Why? Because two times root two plus two times root two is same as four times root two. If you take two of this quantity and then two of this quantity, it's same as saying four of that quantity, four of root two, which is what we start out with. And on this side I have two plus two plus two root two. I, I wrote four as two plus two. I hope you know, I hope you realize now where I'm going with it. Of course, in the real exam, I would not do it out all this thing. This is silly. I'm just doing it for your benefit so that you can see what I'm doing here. Well, I see a 2 here and a 2 here. That 2 plays no role. Of course, in the exam, what I have done, I would have done is this. You get rid of this 2 and change this 4 into a 2. And then I see 2 root 2 here and I see a 4 root 2 here. 4 root 2 is same as 2 times root 2 plus 2 times root 2. So that takes care of this part. Or in the exam, I would have done this. Cross this out and turn this into 2. So basically what they want you to compare, so basically what they want you to compare, nothing else is left on this side. What they want you to compare is this, this 2 that you see here, this 2 right here. They want you to compare 2 versus 2 times root 2. You see, 2 times root 2 right here. Which quantity is bigger, 2 or 2 times root 2? Because I know that 2 times root, because I know that root 2, because I know that root 2 is more than 1, what it is is irrelevant here. The, the point is that since this is more than 1, therefore 2 times some number more than 1 has to be more than 2. So this quantity, whatever it is, it equals to something more than 2. This is how you write something more than 2. 2 with a plus sign on the top. Notice I did not put approximates value. I did not say, I did not say 2 times root 2 is approximately something more than 2. That would be silly. 2 times root 2, whatever the hell it is, 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 not approximately, but rather is, something more than 2. And that's all I need to know. Something more than 2 versus 2, obviously something more than 2 is bigger. The answer is B. Oh, let me. This is the case here, therefore the answer is B. That's all. That's all we're done. Let me look at the clock in the back. Just one second. We are four minutes into the problem. So let's do one more problem. Why not? Let's do it on the side here. Can you tell me which, which number is bigger? Uh, three, 3 times 37 plus root 14 versus... 4 times 37 plus root 14. I'm making it up, you understand? I'm just making it up. I'm just making it up. 
So which one is bigger? Well, let's see. This root 14 appears in both columns, it plays no role. And then of course, this 37 appears on both sides, it plays no role. So 4 is bigger than 3, the answer is, the answer is B. That's all. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face tutoring, or, or for tutoring online, or if you wish to file by the solution, may I use these questions, any of these questions in the entire, entire book here, if you wish to get hold of me. Go to my website at www.prepprepforgre.com and send me an email, alright? Thanks.